Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Jay and today I'm going to be reviewing the Fantex Eclipse P600S. Now, the P600S is the brand's latest flagship model in their Eclipse range. The case has been out for oh, well over a year now and it still feels incredibly current with excellent airflow, aesthetics, soundproofing and modularity capabilities. So let's waste no further time and jump straight into it and Firstly, we're going to talk about the outside of the case. The P600S is a stealthy case with attitude. There are angles and vents in all of the right places, making this look very futuristic. At first appearances, the front looks as though it is all one solid panel with an angular grille towards the top and ventilation gaps at either side. The design is flawless, but what is most impressive about the P600S is its modularity and ability to transform from one configuration to another. The main feature of the P600S is its interchangeable mode from acoustic bliss to high performance airflow. The stock configuration is in silent mode and to change this all you need to do is remove the magnetic center panel at the front. If you have small fingers uh, this comes off without any fuss but I had to flip up the IO cover. However once removed the next major feature in Fantex repertoire is revealed and that is their fabric mesh. The mesh is highly breathable nylon and allows for even more airflow when compared to traditional mesh filters. It appears as though there is a double layer of the nylon mesh that is then further supported by a magnetic dust filter at the back which works in tandem to restrict the amount of dirt going into the system. At the front is where we do see the IO which are hidden by a flip down panel to keep the overall aesthetics consistent. However, the reality is that you're going to likely flip this up and leave it for life, but does look cool. Moving to the rear now, and this particular area isn't as basic as other cases around this price point, and that is firstly down to the dual system functionality. At the top, you will see a removable panel that makes way for the ITX bracket that Fantex sells separately. Below the ITX slot is space for a 120 or 140 millimeter fan, of which you get a pre-installed 140 millimeter high airflow fan. You also get a whole bunch of PCIe slots here too, and while vertical mounting at this price point is something of a normality, Three slots are another nice touch from this spacious case. Fantex includes the bracket needed to secure the GPU on top of the shroud, but you will have to purchase the riser cable separately if you plan on a vertical mount. Moving now to the side. Uh, the component side of the case features a full length tempered glass panel of which Fantex has included an opaque border that always adds extra aesthetical points in my book. Both side panels are completely tool free and secure to the case with four strong magnets. A nice touch with said magnet is the use of a thin rubber layer on top of each, meaning that the panel closes with a rather satisfying dull noise rather than a huge clatter that you get with some cases. The back panel is solid and features the same sound damping materials as the top and the front of the case. You can really tell just from the weight itself that the these are going to do an excellent job of eliminating noise from your system. The top of the case features another removable center panel just like the front and also comes with sound dampening materials. The removable top is part of their dual mode design meaning that when things get too hot or if you install a radiator you can get the airflow that you need. The top of the P600S has space for three 120mm fans or two 140mm fans with up to 360mm and 280mm radiator support. That was a lot of millimeters oh my god. The top can be removed easily with the use of thumb screws at the rear of the case and underneath sits a removable mounting bracket that makes installation a walk in the park. Okay let's now talk about the inside of the case. If you are familiar with the Evolve then the P600S and its spacious interior is going to feel great. This is a bit taller than a few other mid-tower options, but the extra room goes a long, long way, especially when building. The layout inside is logical and everything is just exactly where it needs to be. Good job, Fantex. Good job. Towards the front, we have space for three 120mm or 140mm fans, of which you do get two pre-installed 140mm fans. The fans included do an excellent job for airflow out of the box, but I always do recommend adding another as it's only going to bolster that further. There is a cutout on the PSU shroud to allow full room with beefy radiators or of course a reservoir. You can mount a front radiator up to 360 or 280 millimeters at the front, giving you plenty of options inside for an elaborate custom loop. At the bottom, we have one of the best PSU shrouds that are available. It's solid metal and ties in with the overall color scheme very nicely. There is a little bit of branding that looks superb also towards the front of the shroud, and there is a cutout where the PSU sits to cater for those of you that are going to be grabbing a model with a display or RGB lighting. And for the back panel, Fantex feature their double strap cable 
cable management system, which are a set of simple Velcro straps strategically placed to make cable managing your PC extremely easy. Towards the top of the P600S sits the included fan hub that has enough room for more fans if you kit it out and the pre-installed fans already run to the hub. You also get three SSD mounting trays on the back, something which I removed to make way for my chosen AIO's fan hub. Overall, the P600S is one of the best cases on the market. While I still lean towards the Corsair 5000 series, fan techs are always still high up on my list. The P600S excels in thermal performance when configured correctly and the option to have my system as a stealthy silent beast is one that I favour. For raw airflow performance, there are alternatives that would save you a bit of money, like the Fantex P500A. However, this case is feature packed, making it not only a premium option, but one of superior value against the competition. Thank you so much for watching our review on this incredible case. As always, links to the product will be in the description down below for you to go and check out. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you hit over there, that will take you to another one of our videos that I know you'll enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.